Hello, I am Sarah and welcome to Homespun Childhood here on YouTube. I am a former teacher turned homeschool mom and literacy consultant, curriculum consultant, all those things. And here on YouTube, I share all things curriculum, literacy, homeschool, and more. Today, I am going to share with you a look inside IEW's structure and style for students. So let's dive in. Y'all, IEW, the Institute for Excellence in Writing, has been around the homeschool world for quite a while. They are a writing company, right? Um, they also have other literacy elements. I have been using their curriculum and resources on and off for the past, I don't know, three or four years and really love the different offerings that they have. Um, Structure and Style for Students is a program that I will be using with my son this upcoming fall. He is a rising third grader and it is a program that is going to teach your student how to write going through a systematic explicit writing approach. We know from the research that children benefit from systematic explicit writing instruction. Um, they need that background and for more on that you can head to my website. I'll put some links in the description for that. Um, so we have got the program here and the digital online videos that my son will watch and complete the exercises. So let's look at what we have. So this is the teacher manual here and it is almost exactly the same as the student one. We'll look through both of them. Uh, structure and style for students, year one, level A. They have different years and different levels. This is where you would want to start with a student who has not had formal writing instruction. Um, I really don't recommend this level of program before third grade. IEW does have other programs, thematic writing programs and primary arts of writing, uh, which I go over in other videos or will be soon. So third grade at the earliest for this. Accessing your downloads. Then we have our table of contents here. This is gonna go through the different units of structure and style that IEW teaches. This is their method of going through structure and style. Their teaching, writing, structure and style course goes over these same units. However, this is a course for your student and the teaching structure, gosh, that's a mouthful, teaching, writing, structure and style is for the parent. You can use that program as a starting off point and a jumping point and then teaching, writing yourself. Um, I personally, even as a former classroom teacher and someone with degrees in education, find that having a program laid out for you and for your student is really beneficial. Anyways, so let's go through this. Unit one is note making and outlines, and then it's divided by weeks, so that's week one. Unit two is writing from the notes, several weeks here. Unit three is retelling narrative stories. Unit four is summarizing a reference. Unit five is writing from pictures. Unit six is summarizing multiple references. And unit seven is inventive writing. So I like that they're covering different genres of writing in this. The teacher's manual has these gray boxes on it. And the white page right here is what is in your student manual. I do think it's worth having both of them. Um, depending on the option for purchasing, you might have this digital versus uh, printed hard copy and bound for you. So they go over the introduction, assembling your binder. We're gonna look more in detail at the student pages in a minute. We have our scope and sequence. Again, we're going through each unit and then each week, moving through the subject and the structure. So scorpions and topic clincher sentence down here with deserts. And then we have the style, the LY adverb, who, which clause. The style is where you're starting to add in more of a voice component. The methodology behind IEW is that we're gonna teach writing step-by-step -step explicit so that we know the process. Once children and adults have mastered the process of writing, right? Getting our ideas from our brain to a paper or a computer screen. Then we can start to really pull in our voice and all of that. Andrew Pura definitely encourages that throughout the program. And I know some people are concerned that IEW is, oh, it's too formulaic, right? I don't think that's a bad thing. We need to teach our students the explicit structure of writing so that then they have a jumping off point to add in the voice and the style. If we just jump in with mentor texts and exposing children to a variety of types of writing and well-written books and then say, okay, now you go and do it, some kids will do that. That's awesome. A lot of other kids are really going to freeze because the act of actually getting the ideas in their brain onto the paper is much harder than sharing them out loud to somebody, right? Because putting the words on the paper requires a whole other level of thinking. And so that's where this kind of a program is really helpful. 
Okay, they also have suggested literature over here that goes along with some of the um, subjects that are being taught. They have a section here on how to break this down and adapt it for maybe you're doing this with a co-op or, you know, a different routine for your homeschool. Uh, one program a week, one day a week program, two or three, four or five. And then we jump in. And so again, the gray boxes are only in the teacher manual. And this white page down here is what is in the student binder. So we have the teacher of preparation. It says watch teaching, writing, structure and style, blah, 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 this video. Do I recommend this? Yeah, long-term, this is a really great course. Um, it is extensive and has so much information. Is it required, in my opinion? No. Then they have literature suggestions down here. Okay, they have board notes in this book. So this is what Andrew Poudwa is writing you know, on the board in his class that he's teaching via video. We go over here into the structure of note-taking and public speaking. Okay, they have some definitions from the source text over here that would not be included in the student book. And then they have different color pages throughout here that are different, um, they're color coordinated. So the yellow ones are going to be like your model charts for note taking, three words max, paper management, organizing your binder, homework, okay. Week two, Scorpions, teacher preparation, literature suggestions, and now we're teaching you know, the goals to learn unit two writing, to practice units one and two, to write a keyword outline, to write a summary about Scorpions, to learn new vocabulary. So the idea with this, right, is after we teach through the provided text, then your child and you as the teacher can go through your content areas and you can ask them to do the same types of things. Maybe you are studying, um, siege warfare in the Middle Ages, right? They could read a sort short passage on that and apply the same structure and style to writing a little summary. Another note that they would put in their binder. Week three, the bald man and the fly. Again, we have a suggested daily breakdown. We have the board notes, including sample keywords and whatnot. More charts. Okay, at the end of each unit, there's a composition checklist, week three, the bald man. This is for your student, right? They're learning how to use checklists to follow the structure and the style and the mechanics that are being taught. The checklist grows over time to include things they have been taught. And then they keep going. Let's jump up here to unit three. This is where we are beginning to move into retelling a narrative story, which is a different structure than retelling and summarizing um, an informational piece. And so they're gonna go through that with a variety of short stories. They get the possum has his tail. I'm gonna show you the story chart they have for that. Um, the banned words list, learning how to use more interesting words. Where is the story retelling chart? Oh, come on. All right, here we go. The retelling narrative stories. Okay, so talking about different paragraphs and a breakdown for how we would retell a narrative story in writing. A lot of our children are really good at retelling stories um, and natural storytellers. However, translating that into writing is much harder for a lot of children. And a lot of kids shut down with writing or write overly simplistic sentences because they think more thoughts than they can write down. They think faster than they can write. They're afraid to um, misspell words. So they choose simpler words instead of the more advanced words they might naturally use in their vocabulary. So again, really breaking this down step by step so that it's not overwhelming. This is a scaffold, right? Are they always going to use this? No. Do we want them to feel successful and confident and know the steps they're doing as they grow into independent writers? Absolutely. Okay. Going through Little Red Hen, level A, L, Y, adverb word list here. Okay. And then if we flip to one of the units towards the end, this is unit six. And unit six, we're summarizing multiple references. So this is where we're taking in multiple sources and we're learning how to summarize those and combine them into one written piece. This is a skill that everybody needs to have. I don't care what job you're doing in the future, you are going to need to be able to summarize multiple things and then spit that back out in your own words and combine it all together. So starting to work on those skills at a younger age with the scaffolding tool is going to help them grow into the independent adult writers that can do this without you know, staring at a screen or having AI do it for you. 
summarizing multiple references or sources, fused outline, okay? Again, the gray boxes for the teacher part are up here. Students use multiple sources to write source outlines. Students select three to five facts from each using, so it's like walking you through the notes from the video-based lesson. Each of these lessons has a video component that they tell you, you know, where to find and where to watch that. So this is the teacher guide. Let's look at the student book. So the student book is a binder and it comes just like this. This has not been set up yet because my son will be doing that himself as part of one of his first lessons. You get a little pamphlet here with your activation code for the videos. You have set up and prepare your structure and style student materials. And then we jump right in. You will notice this looks very familiar to the teacher guide. Okay. But again, if we get in here to our source texts, this is where we have just the page and not the gray boxes with the teacher notes. So this is what your students will be working from. Okay, it tells you which video, video two, part one, here is the timestamp. The checklists are here for you. retelling your narrative stories. And so these notes, the student is going to end up filing into their different binder sections as part of their, their, their coursework for this program. Now, this program moves at a fairly fast pace. If you are doing this with a student who is coming from another writing program, maybe they are a little bit older, fourth, fifth grade, you might be fine with the pacing. If you are starting this with a student who has never done a formal writing program or are on the younger side, third grade, then you might end up needing to stretch this out a little bit more. That's okay. This is a guide for you. You can change the speed. You can move faster. You can move slower. Okay. So just know that if it's, you're not getting everything in, right? Don't try to cram it or skip over things. Just slow it down a little bit. That's okay. So if you have questions about IEW or wondering if this might be a good fit for you, feel free to drop them in the comment section. You can reach out to me on Instagram. I am on Instagram, homespun.childhood. Um, and stay tuned because I will be doing some video reviews of all things fun and fascinating and people and places coming soon here on YouTube.